Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my CRNA school stats. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. Okay, first things first, they're always going to ask you for your GPA and your transcripts, so let's do it. My BSN GPA was a 3.4. But I have mentioned before that I had a low GPA before. I did a bachelor's prior to doing uh, my BSN. And um, if you combine the two, it's an awful score. It's a 2.9. But in the end, I guess most schools go off of the last 60 credits. And I asked the school that I am currently ex enrolled in. And they do account for the last 60 credits. But they do want to know why the GPA was so low in the beginning. Next up is the GRE. Some schools have done away with the GRE completely. In my case, um, the school did require the GRE. Um, I took the GRE twice. I took it once in 2020 before um, there was a lockdown, but the second time I took it, I took it at home. So I don't know if maybe that had a factor into why my score got better, but I also did study a little better for the second time. Okay, so my 2021 score was a 149 in the verbal, 152 in the quant, and I got a four out of six in the writing. Next up is experience. I did three years in NICU, but it wasn't just NICU that I feel helped me in my, uh, like the experience portion of my application. I was a part of the neonatal transport team on my unit and I would join the PIC team as well so I could put PICs in babies um, and that's pretty awesome, I think. So I tried my best to vamp up my application as best I could since I knew that NICU wasn't necessarily viewed as an ICU, but I tried to make myself a valuable candidate. And if you two also have NICU experience and you're trying to go to CRNA school, make sure you call the school ahead of time because not all schools view neonatal ICU as an ICU experience. So just check beforehand so you don't waste your time. Next up is shadowing. I was able to knock out 48 hours of shadowing in the OR. I saw a variety of cases and a variety different of different methods of anesthesia and I mentioned that in my interview and they really enjoyed that. Next up is certifications. Most schools require the CCRN. If they don't require it, it's almost like um, a deciding factor if you're in or not. So I recommend you get it. I got my CCRN back in January of 2020. I also have my BLS, ACLS, PALS, and my NRP. Next up, I got my letters of recommendation in line for application. So I got a letter from my supervisor. I got a letter from my clinical educator. I also got a letter from the CRNA that let me shadow her. And I got an extra letter from a, a nurse practitioner on my unit. Next is the interview process. So I applied for two cycles, so two years. Um, my first um, application cycle, I applied to two schools. I got an interview for one, but I got rejected from both. Again, my GPA is always gonna haunt me, but one school mentioned that my GRE in 2020 um, needed to improve in one section. In 2021, I applied to four schools. The first three gave me rejections um, shortly after I applied, and the last one gave me an interview and in the end, an acceptance. So a total of six applications in two cycles. Not bad. And then by getting accepted into that program, I was told I needed to retake chemistry because they wanted my chemistry within the last five years. So as far as courses to retake, I only retook one class. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Just know that if you have a low GPA or a low GRE, there's other factors that are taken into account when you apply. So don't feel that you're not a worthy candidate. Still give it a shot. It only takes one. I watched a video on nurse.org by this um, motivational speaker who's also a CRNA student. His name is Wally Khan, and it was super inspirational for me to feel the motivation that even though I have a low GPA, I'm still worthy. I had a lot of self-doubt. I still do, but I'm trying to get through it. But at least you know that you can get accepted to CRNA school with a low GPA. Definitely, you are more than just a number. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to do a long, detailed journey of how I got to CRNA school. It's going to be lengthier, definitely. I just wanted to make this one more concise for people who want to know just clear-cut, dry stats of how I got into CRNA school. But I will be posting that next week, so look out for that video. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!